Hey everyone, I promised myself that Revolution 1.5 would be the final update. So naturally, I just released Revolution 1.6. This video will go over the current feature set of the package and some stuff that was added since 1.5. For those unaware, Revolution is my suit for realistic engine synthesis in Kilohertz Faceplant. As of version 1.6, it features 18 pre-designed engines, but also content such as a template preset and a 22 pages user guide meant to empower everyone to understand and apply the synthesis themselves. Let's get started by loading up an engine. There are 18 in total, some generic and some inspired by real ones. We'll start up one of the new engines, the inline four-cylinder engine of the Stöver R200 Spezial. Each engine comes with a root node, somewhat representing its respective fundamental frequency. For the Stöver, it's C0. Pressing the node will give the engine an idle. The throttle knob simulates applying throttle, or stepping on the gas pedal. Notice that the engine behaves differently depending on whether or not we immediately apply full throttle or slowly ease into it. On the right, we got the gear knob. If we turn it off, we simulate that the engine is running with no gear. It will rev up a lot quicker and the transmission whine won't scale with RPM. Let's quickly load up our second new engine, the 4GAA, as it was used in the M4A3 Sherman tank during World War II. Next in line is the backfire amount knob. Revolution supports backfire simulation, and as the name might suggest, increasing its value will increase the occurrence of backfires. Backfires will not occur when accelerating, and occur more frequently after a harsh acceleration. Loading up the third engine of 1.6, we are greeted with the GMC straight 6 engine. Let's have a look at the mic switch knob. It simulates having the vehicle recorded with two different microphone positions, which you can switch at any time. Even better, the two mic positions of each of the 18 engines are available as snap heap presets, meaning Revolution comes with 36 mic positions to choose from. We can do so by simply loading a different mic switch preset in the mic switch snap heaps of lane 3. The throttle RPM link and throttle FX amount knobs are primarily meant to be used for sound export, which we will get to in a second as well. Turning off the throttle RPM link will cause the throttle to not influence the engine's RPM anymore. With this, we can, for example, manually set the RPM to 30%, but apply the full throttle effects, simulating a high engine load. Throttle FX amount steers how much of the engine load effects will be applied based on the throttle amount. The suit also comes with a template patch. It has a basic setup of all the advanced functionality we've just talked about and more. Combined with the user guide, which features a comprehensive explanation on how the synthesis works, everyone should be able to start building their own engines in no time. Last but not least, version 1.6 features two game audio export templates for Reaper, allowing for a rapid export of the most common game audio related sounds. The basic version features 11 steady RPM holes from idle to 100%, as well as three engine refs and a long engine ramp. Even the render options are preset. Envelope tracks for the backfire mount and mic switching are also set up. As a cherry on top, the media items triggering the engines are pooled, meaning if your engine features a different root node, you just have to edit one of them and the rest will match. The second template is set up in a very similar fashion, but allows it to rapidly render on and offload engine sounds, together with the aforementioned refs and ramps.
I hope this gave a quick and easy to digest overview over the current feature set of Revolution. There is still a bit more, but I didn't want to bloat the video too much. I'd like to also point out that I made a free tutorial on the basics of engine synthesis within Faceplant, linked in the description. And that's it for today. So thanks and have a good one.